Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm creating a project using some brand new dies to the LDRS Creative Shop. They are called Swivel Slide Dies. And this is the main set here and it creates a neat swivel um, interactive element on your cards. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to make an interactive card today using this piece here. Now there's lots of elements that go with it. For example, you have this die set. This is the jump to it on the move die set. And it creates a little um, jumping action. Um, we're not going to use that today, but it, that we, it is available. Also available are dies that are made to coordinate with the swivel slide dies. And stamp sets too. So lots of interactive stamp sets and... Um, scenery that you can build to create an interactive card. On the reverse side, it has color um, pictures of the items. Here's the landscape, and this one comes with a die that will cut out kind of like a see-through line to where your swivel slides easily in and out. Here's another picture of a tag made with it. And then here is a double um, swivel slide here. So super neat. Um, this is a kind of a, a new to me so I thought we'd do this together. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off by separating the dies and to save a little bit of time I did color in my background images. So these are the dies that we're going to use to create our swivel slide. I have a piece of white card stuck here and you want to use especially for this main piece here. This main piece is the slide and you want it to be super heavy. Um, I'm using about 120 pound card stock to cut out all my elements. That triangle piece is the extender and then you have that rectangle that has the three squares in the very bottom and that is your um, sleeve and then you have the little swivel mechanism. Now I'm going to use some pattern paper here today to cut out a decorative edge on my the end of my slider. That's what this piece does. And then um, the two smaller pieces here we need to connect to the main slider bar here. So this is your little decorative tab. It does cut a score line so all you do is reinforce that score line and then you attach it to the end. Now we're going to create our pivot end. So um, there's score lines on this, these two, well this circle here and I'm just trimming those score lines on one of those circles. Now this piece here you're going to die cut out. Um, I'm going to flip it around and those two end pieces are going to go up towards the T part of the, the slider bar. We'll tape it down and then you're going to um, die cut out the circles making sure they're next to each other. So you have open ends and then you have closed ends. You want the closed ends together when you die cut this out. So I'm going to run this and it's going to create two pieces here. And this bottom piece I could have lined up a little bit better, but it's still going to work just fine. Okay, now what we do is create our pivot. So this piece that we we cut the, the lines in, we're going to fold two of the lines in to create like a little bow. Next we're going to attach some strong adhesive. You could use score tape. I'm using my multimedia mat. And we're going to attach this to the very end of the long piece on the slider bar. And then while we're at it, we're going to add our decorative edge on the other end here. And again, for this you could use tape, but I'm just going to use my glue since I had it out. So this is the piece that's popping up. Next we're going to kind of curl in those edges. And then that piece here is going to fit right into the pivot side. And you're going to, it's going to create kind of a, its own brad. And you can see here it just moves back and forth. Super neat. Now the two ends that we didn't glue down, we're going to add a little bit of glue to. And you want to just make sure you add glue to those ends. And then we're going to take that top circle and place that right on the very top. This is going to keep that mechanism nice and smooth and make it glide real easy. You can see here. Okay, now there's score lines here on the T part of the slider bar, or the swivel slide here. Um, I'm going to mark it with a pencil just to show you guys because it's kind of hard to see with the camera. But you just fold it in. 
there's three score lines. There's one here and then there's another one there. I'm going to fold them in. I'm kind of going back and forth and it's going to create like a little two tab on the middle. You can see here. I'm going to fold it into where you can see those smaller rectangles kind of on the bottom of those W's. That's where you want to add the glue to on one side and you attach those together. And I'm just holding it in place while my glue takes a little bit of time to tack down. And then that top piece will flip open, kind of looks like a little table, <laughs> upside down table. Okay, now it looks kind of funny now, but once we get everything together, it's super fun. Now this piece here, this is the sleeve. And what you're going to basically do is make a sleeve, um, kind of like a, a belly band for a card. I'm just gluing it together at the very end. And there's score lines on this too. I just scored at those score lines. And then that creates a nice little rectangle that you can slide your um, Silva slide bar in. Okay, now here's where I colored in my images. I used I stamped the clouds, I stamped an extra cloud, and then I fussy cut out that second one, and then I also stamped a couple extra little clouds um, for my background. Now this bar here, this is your slide bar. I'm going to tape it down to a piece of cardstock that's four inches by five and a quarter, and then I'm going to die cut out that slide. Um, my decorative panel, my top panel where I did my stamping is the same exact size and you want to make sure that that's the same exact size. And the stamp set that I used was called the uh, Set the Scene Landscape stamp set and it comes with a die that coordinates with the scenery. Um, I placed that in the very top using my back panel as a guide and I'm going to die cut that out. And it's just going to create a nice curvy line that's going to follow the clouds and it can also follow the scenery on the other stamps that are included in the set. You can see here it just creates a slide. And there's stitch lines on there too which makes it helpful and it makes it detailed. Now we're going to build our little mechanism. We're going to take our um, swivel slide bar, place it on the inside of this panel, and then we're going to flip it around, kind of keeping it straight. Now we're going to take our little um, sleeve. I'm going to add a little glue to the bottom. We're going to slide it through and just tack it there on the end. This is going to hold that bar in place to where it's not going to wobble upside in um, all over the place, basically. <laughs> okay, now this little white tab here is an extender bar and it's nice for floating elements, but instead of using white cardstock, I decided to die cut it out using some clear acetate. I thought it'd be even neater if you couldn't see that white. Okay, next, while my little sleeve is still drying, I thought it'd be fun to add a brad to the very end of my pull tab here. So I just grabbed a white brad from my stash, and I'm going to secure it with my crop dial. I like little decorative details like this. I think it just finishes off the card. I'm going to take some navy blue and white baker's twine and thread this through my, or I, did, I called it a brad, but it's actually an eyelet. <laughs> I always call my eyelets brad for some reason, but I'm just threading this through and I'll tie a bow later on at the end. Okay, now I think my sleeve's just about set. So what we're going to do next is take some foam tape. I'm going to double it up. You want that extra room. If you double up the 3M foam tape, it's about the same size or the same height as your sleeve that we glued on there. I trimmed it down the middle and probably didn't need to do that. I could have put a full piece on here. But you want to make sure you have enough room for that slider to go to swivel. I'm going to remove the release paper and add this directly to my card base. And you can see it leaves me a little bit of a white border. Just kind of checking the mechanism here. And it slides nice right over that little curvy area. Okay, <clears throat> next I'm going to add some foam tape behind my front panel. And this time I'm only doing one layer. And then the very top piece of that swivel, 
we want to make sure that that sl um, is slid right in the area that we die cut on this front panel. I'm just going to remove the release paper. I'm going to kind of squeeze that that top piece to kind of flatten it so it fits through that slide line. I'm going to tack down my panel and then I'm going to reflatten that little slider piece. And I'm just checking my mechanism, making sure it goes smooth, and that I didn't get the, the foam tape in the way. <laughs> okay, now this is the second set of clouds that I fussy cut out. I'm going to add some foam tape behind here. I just want to make sure that I add the foam tape um, on my clouds where it doesn't obstruct my sliding mechanism. I'm going to go ahead and attach a glue dot to my acetate. I did trim down my extender bar a little bit because if I left it the full length, it would be overhanging on my card base. And I still wanted this to be able to fit through an A2 size card. Okay, next we're going to adhere our little superhero bunny. I think he's so cute. I'm going to place him on the top piece of my extender bar and I think that looks so fun now <clears throat> you don't have to do this but I, I did I, I cut an extra cloud to cover up that extender bar that way when it goes across um, that <clears throat> mechanism is less visible but I think when I did this I think I may have obstructed the way that the slider works the swivel slider works So I'm just testing out the mechanism here, making sure it goes smooth. And he's just floating up there. I think it's so fun. Okay, I have a sentiment here. I stamped it. It says, wow, you are super fantastic. And that's going to go on the outside of the card. But I thought on the slider bar, it'd be nice to add a little surprise sentiment. So I'm going to stamp one that says, thanks for saving the day. I'm going to stamp it with some blue ink here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop up my sentiment, place that towards the bottom here. Now I have this extra cloud. I was going to do a little tucking, but I couldn't find a home for it. So I could have put it on the inside, I suppose, but um, that was an afterthought. But now all I have to do is tie my bow here on the end. And this is a nice way to let the recipient know, too, that there's a little tab that you can pull. I know there's stamp sets out there that you can stamp the word pull, but I'm just testing out the mechanism, making sure it goes smooth. And here's our little slider, our swivel slide card. These are the on the move swivel slide dies, super fun. And if you guys are interested on this little mechanism and the items that I use today, I'll link them down below in the description area. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.